GE Current is looking to move out of its current headquarters in East Cleveland's historic Neela Park and set up shop in Beachwood. The company in talks with the city of Beachwood about a package of incentives to make the move possible. News 5's John Kosick tells us this, this would only involve part of the Neela Park. At GE has undergone a lot of changes over the past couple of years. Now GE Lighting, which is the big part of the Neela Park campus and its 700 employees, they are not part of this move. GE Current and its 120 employees are. Appearing before Beachwood City Council's Economic Development Committee this week, GE Current executives outlined their hopes of moving their company out of GE's Neela Park campus in East Cleveland and into a 42,000 square foot space located here on Commerce Park Drive in Beachwood. We're really excited. We, we look at it as transformational for the area. A move welcomed by Beachwood's mayor. The idea of having a, a legacy company, a company with a name like General Electric that's been known not only in Cleveland for 100 years, but uh, uh, around the world is, is just very exciting to us. GE's Neela Park, known across Northeast Ohio for its elaborate Christmas displays each year, has undergone many changes in the last several years. In 2018, GE announced they were looking for a buyer for both GE Lighting and GE Current, looking to sell them together or separate. Last year, GE Lighting sold to Savant Systems. Those estimated 700 employees are not part of this move and would remain at Neela Park. GE Current sold to a private equity firm now known as GE Current, a Daintree company. They employ around 120 employees they are the ones looking to leave. It's tragic to me. Sean Ward is founder and CEO of East Cleveland Growth Association, a nonprofit with an eye towards economic revitalization in East Cleveland. The news of losing even a small percent of the workforce was a blow. This was the anchor. This was the only real viable uh, corporate entity that we have in East Cleveland, and it was something to grow, uh, grow from, right? A Beachwood City Council still needs to sign off on the economic incentive package for this move to make it happen. They will meet on Monday. In East Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5.